Climate change isn't real. I have children, and I don't know what that would mean for them if it was real. So it's, it's not real. It's, it couldn't be real. <laughs> good. I hope humans do all die, because the climate crisis is actually a good thing. It's Mother Nature cleansing itself of its cancer. I think we should hurry up and go. Let's all just get out of here. Hey, great point. I'm gonna kill you, and then myself. Oh, no. Oh, I want to live. Please don't kill me. Oh, I only believe this because I never got pussy. Look, guys, it's simple. All I need to do is voluntarily make sure that everybody agrees to a 90% cut to their standard of living. If we do that, I really think all of us can get through this on I agree completely. That means you'll give up your cat that's wasting resources, right? My cat? I am now an authoritarian. You know, I actually differ from many on my side of the aisle by thinking that climate change actually is real. I think it will lead to wars and droughts and famines. I, I guess the main difference between me and somebody on the left would be that I think that wars have winners. Did you know that the best way to reduce your carbon footprint is to be reduced to ash? It creates a little bit of carbon in the short term, but in the long run, it's remarkably efficient. If we just give the billionaires more money, then eventually they'll have so much money that they'll, uh, they'll fix it. And if they don't, if they don't, which they, they will, they will, but if they don't, then mm, as a billionaire, mm, I'll get more money. So, mm, if we simply destroy capitalism, then all of this environmental destruction ends immediately. Because as we all know, communist states are the most environmentally friendly on the planet. Per capita. CIA propaganda. Imperialist propaganda. Look, I'm just gonna save you some time here. Most of this is the propaganda. You know, if everybody just took a little something called personal responsibility and pulled themselves up by their bootstraps, I think we'd have enough capable human beings to figure out this crisis in a matter of months. Climate change is an extremely serious problem that could spell the end of our species. That's why I propose center-left's most exciting policy proposal yet. 2% carbon tax. Elon Musk will save us. And if he can't, then he'll take me to Mars, which is even better. See ya, suckers. Look, it no secret and prim think industrial revolution, big bad for human race, blah, 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 blah. But guess what? Now industrial revolution going to kill human race. Only reason human race should be dying is because they cannot manufacture medicine or food. Uh, so climate change is good, actually, because it'll make our weather more like the Jurassic period. And in the Jurassic period, uh, all the fruits and vegetables were, like, huge. And, um, and so we won't have to worry about food as much, because all of our food will be bigger. Don't you people understand? With your copes? I'm the only one without the copes, because I realize that everyone else is coping. You see, there is nothing that can be done about climate change. It's already too late. I'm the only one without copes because I'm the only one that recognizes the truth and looks at it with unflinching eyes. We are all going to die. Oh, <laughs> it appears that that too was a cope because I was assuming with certainty that I knew how things were gonna go. I was projecting forward into the future with a very complex issue, just assuming that things would go badly so as to have some kind of moral superiority over people that actually try to do something about the issue. Like our friends at Wren, who are sponsoring this video. Wren is a website that you can go to right now that will calculate how much carbon you produce per year in terms of CO2 squared. The survey you take is pretty quick. It just has to do with, you know, how many flights you take and how many cars you own. Then at the end of the process, instead of guilt tripping you about it, it simply states how much it would cost to offset 100% of that carbon emission or more if you want. Wren is extremely transparent as to where the money is going and it doesn't fund ventures that wouldn't succeed without the carbon offset money. So essentially it's contributing to things that can only exist with your help. The first 100 people that sign up with my link will get 10 trees planted Landed in their name. You know, maybe the situation isn't as hopeless as everyone makes it seem. Maybe if we just come together, use a little bit of technology, a little bit of capitalism, and a little bit of community, we can do a lot more than we think we can. Drat! This will definitely work! Maybe capitalism, not so bad system after all! Ha 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 ha! Oh, I love you, Ren! Ha 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 ha!